Hi, uh, my name is uh, Andy and uh, just wanted to share this with you. This is a, uh, uh, a radio receiver type R1155. It uh, was used in conjunction with a transmitter uh, T1154. And uh, it's typical of the sort of radio that was uh, installed in a, uh, a Lancaster bomber and um, I just thought it would be interesting to uh, have a look. I'm going to fire this up in a minute but uh, whilst I've got it open I just thought I'd show you inside. So this radio would have been made back in uh, the 1940s and uh, let's say I'll just go around it. Uh, looking at it now from the back And uh, now I'm looking at the uh, the underside of it, tipped it up on its side. I'd be interested to uh, hear from anybody that actually operated uh, one of these things. Uh, uh, I have an uncle, or did have an uncle, my uh, uncle Laurie Howell, who was uh, uh, a rear gunner in the Lancaster bomber. And I guess he would have been familiar with uh, this sort of equipment. There's a, a new uh, capacitor there, and they say it looks like new about 30 years ago. And there's uh, an audio transformer being uh, fitted there, a little RS components audio transformer. But otherwise it looks as though it's got all of its uh, original uh, uh, mica waxed capacitors. Um, and uh, in pretty much original condition I think. That's the uh, part of the wave change uh, or frequency change switch. I'm not uh, sure which model this is, uh, but this is uh, an aluminium uh, case for it, so uh, I think that helps to limit it down a little bit. Okay, I've uh, slipped the, uh, the radio back in its case now. Uh, this radio covers the frequencies of uh, 7.5 to 18 megahertz, then 3 megahertz to 7.5 megahertz, uh, 600 kilohertz to 1500 kilohertz, 200 to 500 kilohertz, and 75 to 200 kilohertz. I don't know if I'm catching that or not. And, uh, is the uh, the dial and the colours on the dial correspond to the colours on the uh, wave selection switch or frequency selection switch. So I'd be very interested to uh, hear from anybody that's uh, uh, operated uh, one of these uh, particular sets. Okay I've just put the uh, radio back in the box and uh, that's uh, the radio and then there's a little power supply, homemade power supply with uh, a speaker in it there. So we'll just have a tune around the bands and uh, see what's there. I've got uh, this radio connected to my 80 meter dipole. Uh, that's 80 meters in wavelength, not uh, not the length of the wire. So for a radio that was made back in uh, the 1940s, I, I would say it's doing uh, pretty good. As you say, possibly 
There's a problem with the uh, the slow tuning. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, there you go, Mick Jack Error on an old radio. Thanks for watching.